Flux is here, and unless you learn it, there is no way you can survive the world of AI art. In this video, we'll be teaching you everything about Flux. Even if you are a grandma in her late 90s touching AI for the first time, you'll still be able to follow this video and master AI in a matter of seconds. Let's go! Installing Comfy UI is pretty simple. Go to the GitHub page in the link below and click on this direct link to download button. That will download a 7-zip file, which you can open from a software like WinRAR. Now extract it anywhere you want. Now we need to install an extension to manage nodes and create a notepad file. Then you need to paste these two lines from the description below and save this file as a .bat file. Now click on this bat file and it will automatically do the job for you. Now you can go to the main directory and click on the run underscore gpu dot bat to get it running. To download Flux, go to their official Civit AI page or click on the link below. There hit that blue download button. Make sure you have the dev version. Now copy that file to the following directory. Comfy UI, Models, UNet. Next, download the two clip files given in the link below and put them in Comfy UI, Models, Clip. Next, we need a VAE model for colors. Download the VAE model and put it in Comfy UI, Models, VAE. Now with Comfy UI ready, it's time to load a workflow. What is a workflow? If you are a programmer, you might remember the good old early days where we used to draw flowcharts to represent how a program executes. If you are not a programmer, think of a flowchart as a visual representation of the steps of how something happens. Comfy UI is pretty much this, but instead we deal with elements related to AI. The lines you usually see in Comfy UI is the order of the workflow. Workflows are usually loaded with these JSON files. So all you have to do is download the workflow file from the link in the description. You will download a JSON file and then you need to drag and drop this to your workspace. Then it will become something like this. If it asks you to install missing nodes, then make sure to click the install missing nodes button. Finally, you should be able to get something like this. Right now this might look like a mess, but we'll be going through how it works a little later. Right now, I know you're curious to generate your first artwork. Well, it's simple. See this clip text in code positive prompt box? Write whatever you want there. We don't need to learn about prompting right now, so write whatever you want and then hit the Q prompt button right here. If you ever get an error, make sure to check these model and VAE boxes and double check the proper name and model is selected. Now you can see there's this green outline appearing in some of these boxes. That is the order in which our workflow runs. So right after our prompt, it enters this sampler custom advanced box, which gathers all the settings we implemented in these boxes to generate the image. Then it goes to this VAE box before the final image is shown to us. And there you go. There's our image. You can see all our prompt details applied to this artwork. Now let's see some basic settings. How do you control the width and height of the image? It's right here. Generally, there are three resolutions good for any stable diffusion model. Square resolution, which is 1024 by 1024 pixels. Portrait resolution, which is 832 by 1216 pixels. And landscape resolution, which is 1216 by 832 pixels. Since Flux is trained on some stable diffusions as base models, these resolutions give you the best artwork. You can change the width and height here. Click on the node and enter what you want. Here I generate artwork with portrait resolution. See? You can see the width and height was changed. Changed. Remember, if you want to open an image separately, you can right click on it and click open image or right click on it and go to save image. The setting below, which is called batch size, allows you to control the number of images. But if I want to generate two, I increase my batch size to two. Let me also change the resolution to landscape. There you go. Right now I can scroll below and click on this little square to see my first and second image. Right below it, we have something called a sampler. What is a sampler? Generally, any diffusion model generates artwork by first creating an image filled with noise and then denoising it. The algorithm that is used to denoise this image is based on the sampler we use. Generally, Euler is the sample that is recommended for flux models, but if you want, you can always use a different sampler. Either click on the arrows or click on the box to see the list of samplers. Selecting one and hitting generate will give you a bit of a different artwork, because this time the denoising process worked differently. Next, we need to focus on this flux guidance note. What is a guidance scale? It determines how strictly 
the AI should adhere to your prompt. A low guidance scale will give the generator more freedom, while a higher guidance scale will make the AI stick to the prompt more. If I set this to a value like 10, you can see the artwork that comes out has more sharper lines and higher contrast, while a low value generates this completely different artwork with lower contrast, results with something less vibrant. So stick to a value between 3 to 4 for best results. Prompting. Let's learn about prompting. Prompts are what mainly control the creativity of Flux. There are tons of ways to prompt in Flux, but this is my style. I usually put a subject, action, and a setting. For example, take this prompt. A woman running afraid through a forest. The woman is the subject, running is the action, and the forest is the setting. And if we generate the artwork, we get something like this. You can see it matches our prompt well. Now it's time to expand on this prompt if you want to add details. It's as simple as that. For example, I want my woman to have black hair. I already have given a description called running afraid, and for the setting, we'll turn it into a misty forest to make it more horrifying. We can also add a time of the day, and here you can see we say at night. You can also specify what camera angle you want. Since all of these shots are from the back, let's say we want a shot from the front. Remember, you can include these words anywhere, and as long as it's a good readable sentence, Flux will handle it well. There you go. This also doesn't have to be one sentence. You can include multiple sentences describing the scene better, and Flux will always handle them well. You can also include a style of the artwork. What if I want this in anime style? I simply include the keywords at the beginning, hit generate, and there you go. So that is the simple prompting tutorial, generating text in images. One one of the best features of Flux is how you can generate text in your images. This doesn't have some black magic prompting trick. All you have to do is to include the word you want typed in your prompt. Here you can see an image I generated with text. Check the prompt for it. All I did was to specify what the text in the board should be with the word say, and you can see it generated it exactly. Seed. The final process you need to learn about is seeds. Think of Flux like this. Flux is a big factory, and each image that comes out of this factory is labeled with a unique code. Now, if you know the unique code for an image, you can always find that image again. Or in this case, you can generate that image again. To change the seed of an image, you can go to this random noise section. You can see this is the seed we've gotten for our current image. And you can see an option below it called Randomize. This means that each time an image is generated, a random seed is applied to the image. Now, what if I want the same image? All I have to do is choose this option fixed from the dropdown. Now, even if I hit Q prompt, it won't generate an image because the seed is the same. What if I increase it by one? Now you can see we get a new image. What if I want my old image back? Simple, just use the old seed. And there you go. There is our old image back again. So that's it for the basic comfy UI with Flux tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And this took a lot of effort. So a like from you and a little click on that subscribe button means a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.